Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am making spaghetti and meatballs the easy way. And the reason why it's easy, it's because you make the meatballs in the oven. It's really easy to do it that way. You don't have to fry the meatballs in oil, um, which can make a mess in your kitchen if you've ever done it at home before instead of buying them frozen. It's super easy to make. Um, it's uh, budget friendly because you're using ground beef. You can also use a mixture of um, veal and pork. So I'm going to start with the meatballs. Um, first, I have a garbage bowl right there so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. And that's one pound of beef. And um, I'm going to start by chopping up the garlic. I like to put garlic in my meatballs, uh, a couple of cloves. Um, it really depends on how large your cloves are. So, you know, it's more to taste. I'm using two cloves there. Um, I like to hit them with the flat of the knife and then get the peel off that way people do it different ways if your mother did it a different way make her happy and do it the way that she did it if you like it um this is just a way that i learned how to cook um so uh, my mother actually does it with a paring knife and gets the peel off and all of that um i choose not to do it that way so do it the way that makes you happy um but hitting the garlic is actually really good for me so <laughs> i always feel happier after i've done it so now i'm just chopping up the garlic and um, it's going to um, make it really flavorful. Having fresh garlic is really good. There are some people who use garlic powder. I prefer to use the fresh garlic. So um, it takes a little bit of time to get it minced finely enough, but um, it's worth it to take the time to do it fresh. Um, you can also, as I said, use the garlic powder if that's all you have on hand. Um, if you don't have fresh garlic, that works as well. But um, if you have it, um, use the fresh. I think that really makes a difference. So I'm adding that to the beef. Like I said, it's one pound. And um, next I'm going to get um, a handful of fresh, flat leaf parsley. Um, you're going to see when you go to the store that there is flat leaf parsley and there's also curly parsley. I think that the flat leaf or what they call Italian parsley has a lot more flavor than the curly. I don't know why, <laughs> but that's just the way that it is. I've tried both actually in my recipes and now I always go with the flat leaf parsley. So um, if you order your groceries or if you go to the grocery store yourself, make sure you look for the Italian parsley and I'm Italian on both sides so that's what uh, we've always used was the flat leaf the curly is nice for garnishing you know if you have a dish if you made a roast or something like that and you want to garnish um, your platter uh, the curly parsley looks really good so I'm adding about a handful maybe two or three tablespoons once it's finely minced um, to the to the beef um, and like I said, you know, it's fresh, so it makes the beef taste fresher. It makes everything more flavorful. So um, now I'm going to add some salt. Um, I like to use kosher salt instead of table salt. I think it's um, it it tastes a lot better, and also pepper. Um, I like finely ground pepper. I don't like the the really gritty kind. <laughs> so, but go with your taste here. And one egg. And there are people who just, you know, beat up the egg first. If you want to do that, that's fine. Um, I like to just put it in. And then now Parmesan cheese. So that's what I'm adding there. Um, and that's about a quarter cup. And then about half a cup of breadcrumbs. Um, you can also add a little bit of water, um, you know, if you get the ratio wrong. But I'm just going in with my hands. You know, a clean uh, a cook's best tools are clean hands. So if your hands are clean, you can mix everything up that you need to. Um, you could also do this with a fork. Um, but I like to just go in with my hands. You get a feel for the meat. And try to notice that, you know, I am not, like, beating up the meat with um, with my hand too much. So you want to use more your fingertips if you can, uh, trying to get everything mixed in. And you'll see later that I will portion out the meatballs. I have 16 ounces, so one pound here. I actually got 16, I think 17 meatballs out of this mixture. And you'll see that I will portion it out later. Um, but what you're trying to do is to incorporate all of the ingredients throughout the beef so that every bite tastes really good. And um, as you can see, you know, I really don't have a measurement for salt and pepper. That's gonna be to taste. Uh, what you can do 
is that you can make a, a small meatball and fry that up and taste it before you make them all and before you portion them out and check your seasoning that way if you're not used to cooking uh, that's something a tip for beginners if you're just beginning to cook and you don't really know what your seasoning is like uh, and you don't know how much to add um, that's what you can do with the meatballs um, just cook a little bit taste it you know if it needs more salt add it um, and um, just test it out that way so now I'm using a small ice cream sp scoop to scoop out the meatballs um, it's it's really a lot easier as you can see they're not going to be all exactly the same size even with the ice cream scoop um, because it picks up different amounts of meat every time I really personally don't really care that much that they're all the same size uh, of course if one is huge and another one is smaller they are going to cook at a different rate so you want them mostly the same size um, and I'm going to scoop them all out here and then I'm going to roll them individually so you know once you get into the swing of this it goes pretty fast so um, it's it's really easy to make um, I love frozen meatballs I always have a bag in my freezer for a, a day when I don't feel like cooking or I just don't have the time um, and I'm too busy to make my own meatballs but when I can I really do it um, I do it myself and I enjoy the whole process of it so now I'm just going to pick one up and roll it it's really easy um, some of them come out round some of them do not but that's okay so um, rolling meatballs is one of the you can see that that one is a little smaller than the other ones but um, I got 17 as, as I had said before um, and you can you know it's really budget friendly because you can use one pound of meat to feed four people maybe six if you do smaller portions you know if you have little kids and maybe they just eat you know three or four meatballs um, you can feed up to six people with this meal um, I tend to feed four so um, with one pound of beef and the pasta just as you probably know if you've cooked pasta before it always feeds a lot more than you think it will so we also make our own sauce during this recipe so I'll get started on that next as soon as I'm done with the meatballs and the meatballs bake um, at 425 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes so I'm going to put them in the oven as I said 425 and now I'm getting started on the sauce so um, I'm going to add some olive oil and if you're really watching your budget vegetable oil is fine olive oil is a little more expensive as you probably know um, and at my house it goes really fast <laughs> so um, I always try to watch it um, that I'm not overdoing it and now I'm adding about one uh, one medium onion um, that I have diced and I like to let this cook for about three or four minutes so until the onion is translucent before I add the garlic because the garlic can burn really easily. So you want the onion to get soft first if you're just starting to cook. Um, let the onion get soft. And now it's probably been three or four minutes. Uh, you can see that the onion has changed and it's a lot softer. So um, I'm going to add the garlic now and that's four cloves of garlic. Um, I like my sauce garlicky. I like everything garlicky. I think garlic is one of the best things in cooking. Um, so I let that saute um for a little bit and make sure you watch this this is not the kind of thing where you put in the garlic and you walk away to talk on the phone or to go do something else you know you really have to um stand over it and make sure you're paying attention um which is why i think cooking is so relaxing you really have to concentrate and pay attention to what you're doing um and especially if you're just starting to cook make sure you pay attention to how hot your stove is you know you're going to learn as you do it and now i'm going to add uh, one can of crushed tomatoes i like to use fire roasted tomatoes they're a little more expensive but um, you can also use regular crushed tomatoes i prefer crushed to the whole 
um, and a lot of people do not. A lot of people prefer to crush them themselves. Um, I like the texture of the crushed. And now I'm going to add one cup of beef broth. Um, this is going to make the sauce taste like it has been cooking all day. And you can get the sauce ready in 30 minutes. You can have the whole meal ready in 30 minutes because the meatballs only bake for uh, 12 to 15 minutes. So if you get that ready first, especially you know if you're a little speedier <laughs> with your chopping, and um, you know what to do, um, it goes fast. So now I'm adding some salt, again, like I said, kosher salt, um, and some pepper as well. Um, you can also use red pepper flakes if you like it spicy. My family does not, so I stay away from that. And here's where I add parsley. Parsley is not something that I add at the end. I like to add it when I first make the sauce. If I were adding basil, I would wait until the end, but I like to have the cooked parsley taste in my sauce. So this can cook for as long as you'd like, you know, from 15 minutes all the way up to an hour, it depends on how much time you have. Um, if I were adding meat, I would let it um, cook a lot longer. Uh, which is the traditional way that one makes sauce or gravy, depending on what your family calls it <laughs> in Italian households. Um, so, but this really is a quick cooking sauce. And now um, I'm going to make the pasta. So I'm adding salt to the water, a good amount of salt. It should taste like the ocean. So if you want to taste your pasta water, if you're not quite sure how much to add, I'm adding one pound of rotini here because I like rotini. And I call this spaghetti and meatballs, but you can use any pasta you want. It's just that spaghetti and meatballs is what people know it as. So. Um, I'm going to let the pasta cook. I like it well cooked. I do not like pasta al dente, but do it the way that you grew up having it. So um, if you like it less cooked, probably eight minutes. And these are the, the, the meatballs. They come out of the oven browned because it's a 425 oven. It's pretty hot. Um, so you see that I didn't add any olive oil. I didn't add any fat. Only the fat from the beef was enough to brown the meatballs, which is what makes it so easy. Um, uh, you can also put them in the sauce, but now I'm just going to add the sauce to the pasta that has been drained. And um, now I'm adding the tomato sauce that has cooked for about half an hour at this point. I had a little bit more time this um, when, I, when I filmed this. So I let the sauce go for about half an hour, but you can have the whole meal ready in half an hour um, if you time it correctly. Start with the meatballs, um, move on to the sauce, and have the pasta water going at the same time you can get this done. And now I'm adding Parmesan cheese to the sauce and the pasta itself. I like to toss it all together. Always toss your pasta with your sauce. Make sure that it's all together. You know, I don't understand when I see pasta with a little bit of sauce on top top and there's nothing underneath I don't get that the pasta should be tossed with the sauce in the pan before you serve it to your guests so you can see that that's saucy and delicious I like a lot of sauce on my pasta I don't know about you but um, dry pasta doesn't really appeal to me that much um, so that's how I like to make it and that's the final result you know that's what it looks like um you can see the meatballs are browned i put some extra parmesan cheese on top and um it's a very easy dish like i said it can be done quickly um or it can take two hours it's up to you really it's very budget friendly you can feed your entire family on one pound of beef and i will be making a lot of these budget friendly meals because i am amazed by how much groceries cost <laughs> these days so i'll be adding a lot of them to my channel um if you're interested um hit that subscribe button i try to have videos um, a couple of times a week sometimes more thank you for being here bye